Good day everyone, this is your friend Jerk and in this tutorial video we will solve one of the requested machine problem by one of our subscribers in my channel. Before we continue, I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers in my channel. Thank you for your support. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please click the notification bell so that you will be notified when my newly uploaded video and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button so let's get started we have here a simple machine problem that the one of our subscriber requested we will call this program some different product and quotient in c++ it will ask the user to give first and second number and then it will compute the sum difference product and quotient so i have here the comment Math.cpp, your truly Professor Jack Rodriguez from Pradama and IT. And then I have two websites which offers free source code. The first one is www.jackrpomprada.com and then the second one is www.jackrpomprada.blogspot.com. And then currently, right now, I'm accepting programming jobs, software development, IT consultancy, web development at a very reasonable cost. You can reach me to acquire my services at jakearpombrada at gmail.com and my location is Bacolod City, Negros, Occidental, Philippines. Line number 7 and 8, I have two library files. Line number 7, I have IOStream, input-output streaming command for input-output in C++ and then IOMANIP or input-output manipulator for decimal places later on in our program. We have here the comment, line number 22, int main, it is the starting point of our program's equation and also ending point. When we run our program, the compiler will search for this main function and execute. The same thing will happen when we terminate our program. Line number 30, 23 will be the begin. Twi line number 24 up to 26, I have a series of variables that is being declared that has a data type of double. When we say double, guys, we are referring to data types that has a decimal values. So, I have variable A and B in line number 24. Line number 25, we have sum and difference. And line number 26, we have product and quotient. As you can see, I have initialized all these six variables with 0, that 0, 0. And then line 28 after 30, the title of our program, CD out, backslash n, uh, backslash a new line here in 28, title, sum difference product in quotient in C++ backslash new line if you are wonder why i'm using std to colon because i'm practicing a modern c++ approach in writing my program uh, line number 31 up to 20 uh, 31 up to 34 we are asking the user to give a number that will be stored in our variable a and b 35 new line and then this is for the input and then this is the for the process assignment operator sum a plus b difference a minus b product a multiply b quotient a over b and then in this portion line 42 new line and then this one is for the display product sum difference and product now as I said, we are using IO Manip, Input Output Manipulator in C++. In this portion, I declared fix and then show point set precision 2. Now, this set precision 2 means we just want to display two decimal places. We cannot use this function without declaring this library file, sharp include IO Manip or Input Output Manipulator for our quotient. To just display two decimal places line number 49 up to 51 and a program new line that which informs the user that the program has been ended and then lastly line number 52 will be closing of the body of our main function 
don't worry guys because I will put a link in the description below where you can download the complete source code okay so let us compile and run so that we can test our program okay so enter first number let's say we have 50 second number we have 3 so the sum is 53 the difference is 47 the products is 150 the quotient is 16 point 67 and a program okay let us execute run for the second time around let's say we have 200 let's say we have 12 so sum is 212 difference is 188 product is 2400 quotient is 16.67 and end of program for the last time let's say we we have 4.13 let's say we have 2.3 the sum is 6.43 the difference is 1.83 products is 9.499 quotient is 1.80 and the program so this is the end of our tutorial video i hope that i was able to solve one of the requested machine problem by one of our subscribers some difference product in quotient in c plus plus thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to like share and please support me channel if you're new by clicking the subscribe button see you in the next video tutorial guys this is your friend jake Singh. bye bye for now